Check out this absolute stunner behind me. Now this is a six month 1983 FJ60. And this is about as original as they get around here. It's an absolute stunner. There's no real aftermarket stuff on it. Now the backstory on this one, it was one owner um, from new until recently where the customer Jason um, bought this vehicle and it now lives up on the Sunshine Coast. And uh, it suits it up there for sure. This thing is just stunning. It's had a little tickle in its time. Um, so it's not fully original, but um, the way it's been set up, uh, there's no tint on the windows, there's nothing. Let's just go around it. Look. So it's got the original factory bumper bar there with the genuine ends. It's had a little tickle, same as the front grille. Now, you've got to love the chrome on this thing. The chrome's everywhere, around the windscreen, up around the gutters. And what you don't see very often is down the bottom of the, the seals here. It runs the whole way along. Either they would have been taken off. I suppose it would have been a G-Pack thing from back in the day. It's got the original rear bar on there as well. Now, the chatting with the, the lads in the workshop, the, the number plate's down underneath. And I think that bar was originally from a barn door vehicle because um, on the little tailgates, the, the, the number plate's supposed to be further up. But I don't know, if anybody knows, please let us know. But other than that, look, these BCI rims. Now, these are awesome. These fly, We sell them here at Mr. Land Cruiser and they're flying off the shelf at the moment. Really popular item. We also sell the hubcaps to go with them. And this has got the full set on this thing. So it's really good because that does away with the old, everybody knows the split rims, rims can be dangerous. It does away with all that and you don't have to run an inner tube. So it puts a conventional tire setup on there. Now, six months, 1983. It wasn't a free F, it was pre free F. So I'll take you under the bonnet and we'll have a look at this. Just check it out under here, right? So before the free F, we still had the two F in the 60 series back then. Um, and so it must have been either an upgrade or it must have been when they first started to come out with the H55F gearbox. So that was the five speed gearbox in this. And probably back in the day, it would have had a decal on it showing off the fact that it had a five speed in it. But um, so this thing, we've, um, we've had a little tickle under here. We've gone through the carby. It wasn't running right. And then we found out that the, the vacuum advance on the distributor had blown the diaphragm. So there was no vacuum advance at all. So it was a bit of a slug to drive. We've done away with that dizzy and we've put an electronic d distributor on here now. So it makes it um, less maintenance, much more reliable um, and just all round a better setup, I think, for, um, for modern, bringing it into the modern world somewhat. The exhaust, now this had a, the original cast manifold on here as well and that was blowing from both ends. So Jason, the customer said, can we chuck some extractors on there? and um, match it up to the original exhaust, which we've done. So it's got a really nice note now as well. But other than that, under here, it's just immaculate. It's a really good example of a 60 series from back in the day. It's like stepping back in time, it really is. I am blown away by the originality in here. I think it's a bloody shame, to be honest, that it's got this Sony screen sticking out the dash, because if it wasn't for that, um, it would be absolutely original in here. Um, you know, just look at the hood lining. We've got a little LED bulb in the in the interior light there, but it's just I'm I'm lost for words really, to be honest. So the seats are like this brown sort of beigey trim interior colour. Even the, it's just immaculate. There's hardly any wear marks on them at all. It's um, it's just astonishing. We've got the inclometer up here on the dashboard. Um, I think some sort of old brake controller got a USB here so you can charge his phone but you know sometimes it's just it's just really difficult to do a, a walk around on a vehicle like this it's so stocko um, but it really does just take you back in time so also while I was here Mr Land Cruiser you might notice there's a bit of a gap there between the guard and the wheel now we've put a full terrain tamer suspension kit through this um, you can't get stock standard height suspension anymore from any outlet and um, it's all got a two inch lift in it so this had the springs, you've got the anti-inversion shackles there, all the shockies, we've extended the uh, anti-sway bar links to suit, and it actually, I, I, I quite dig it, it's given it a, a real good stance. Now, also, we did, it was, it was pouring out oil from the sump area, so we've put a new sump gasket on it. 
been through all the gearbox, the diffs, replaced all the oil. So Jason now knows where he's at with it. He knows the history of it. So it is ready to leave here. Um, Jason's gonna absolutely love it and I can't wait to see it around the streets of the Sunshine Coast. Six month, 1983, FJ60.